सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्यमद्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यत वंदे गुरुपरंपरा all your phobias inside flight or this inside the closed area is all is nothing but your resistance to that space your resistance to that space nothing else height phobia there are so many phobias i am shocked first time i am hearing about all the phobias here only i never heard about this phobias in a primitive villages primitive villages don't have any phobias they don't have any phobias i was shocked to hear about this phobia first of all the word phobia i came to know first only when i started traveling in this so called developed countries i never heard about phobia what is there phobia means nothing but holding on to your body tightly and you do not want your body to move into a space which you have not already experienced you wanted everything to be clear the project plan where you are going what will be happening next what will be the third step what will be the fourth step what is the next and what will be the end if some place even if one puzzle is not fulfilled even if the one puzzle is not clear you are not comfortable in that space you wanted everything clear before entering you are not ready to allow god's hand in your life you wanted everything to be clear according to your intellect i always tell people do not plan completely give little bit of space for god let him also plan little bit for you let him also plan if you plan too much perfectly according to your intellect you may not commit any mistake but you will commit blunders the whole the intelligence of the cosmos is surely little more than our intelligence so once in a while not planning completely logically or allowing ourselves to be little liquid or entering into a space where there is little risk or the spontaneity is good it keeps you alive it keeps you alive it keeps the spirit and the energy in you active if you are living with a clear planned system be very clear you are already dead because you have no opportunity to do to do anything new i have seen people who live in the forests who live in the hills who live in the natural places the life or the energy which radiates around them is amazing shocking 9 years i lived wandering all over india i tell you people always ask me oh swami ji it is such a difficult life how did you do it's a great difficulty they think i have done a great achievement but i tell you that was the great joy it was not an achievement it was joy you don't know only when you live that life you will understand the freedom and the energy of that life they come and tell me stand in front of me telling thinking that i have done a great sacrifice or a great thing by living that wandering life they come and tell me how did you live swami ji such a difficult life traveling walking from village to village was it not difficult you achieved a great thing this amazing i tell them according to me only you are the great person because i you see for you you can't imagine living like me traveling from village to village and begging in the houses and sleeping in the tree, in the under the trees and living i tell them just how you can't imagine my life i can't imagine your life living in the same house going to the same office same car same house 
and I can't even think getting up early morning and seeing the same people, same faces. <laughs> it's unimaginable for me. How my life is unimaginable for you. Your life is unimaginable for me. It is not a big tapas or it is not a big suffering which I lived. That was the amazing freedom. Amazing energy. One, one more thing. Tremendous risk. Constantly you have to be alive. Understand, surviving is totally different from being alive. Now, people who live in a very secured way, they may be surviving. It's nothing more than, more than the graveyard with a key, that's all. See, if you are just surviving, you are living in a graveyard with a key. Just because you have a key, don't think our houses are not graveyards. Our houses have got one benefit. The graveyard with key, that's all. Only when you live an intense life, you are alive. Where you need to be constantly expressing all your energies. I always tell people, only when you are cornered, you express completely yourself. You completely express the energy which you have in your life, which you have in your being. Only then you start expressing the next level energy, what we call prana. In Sanskrit, we call that as prana, means life force. We do not touch the life force at all. We live just with the muladhara and swadhisthana. Muladhara chakra, root chakra is greed, desire, sex. The swadhisthana, next chakra is fear. That's all. We live only in this two layer. Fear or greed. That's all. We never come up to the third level. The Manipuraka chakra is the chakra, the prana, life force. Navel is the chakra with which you are connected to the cosmos. Navel is the chakra from which you are connected to your mother. You, your body and your mother's body is connected only through navel. That is the Chakra through which you receive energy, prana. You received prana from your mother only through the navel chakra. Only before birth you used your navel chakra. After that you never touched it. That's the source of our prana, prana. But we never touched it. We used only the chakra which is lower than the prana. Lower than the prana. Only the fear and greed are used. Never the prana itself. Because there is no need for you to be alive. If you just survive, that's enough. All you have to do is inhale and exhale till doctors declare you medically dead. <laughs> Practically nothing more needs to be done. That's why I tell people, luxury and comfort kills your life. It takes away life from you. Everything is clear. You get up from the bed. You walk slowly four or five step and in this country attach latin bathroom also. And you straight away enter, take bath and everything is neat, arranged, come out, wear the dress, come to the, come out, sit in the car, go to the office, everything is clear. You don't need to be alive. You don't need to be alive at all. Sometime you can look into your life. You don't even have to remember you, that you got up from the bed. You can do the whole thing just mechanically and come back and lie, fall in the same bed. You don't even have to remember you got up from the bed 2-3 hours ago. You can just do the whole thing in a mechanical way. You can see in your life. You don't even use the whole house. See your life. Just get up from the bed, walk in the same way to the bathroom and the same way you will come because here you are trained for the left, right also. The, for anything, you have to take the way. You have to take the way. So you know this left, that right, your body also starts working only in the same way. If at all we paint your feet and allow you to walk on your house, you will walk only on the one track you will discover you are walking only on the one track. Your whole house carpet will never become paint. 
it will never become dirty because you walk only on the one track you become so frozen we become so dead you can in your life unconsciously you sit only in one sofa you will go and sit only in that sofa and straight away you will go to the kitchen and handle only those few vessels and you will handle only those few almiras you will handle only that your bed and come out maybe in the weekend if you want to clean you may go and touch the other things we do not live on the same way you will park the car the same distance it will be if you go back and measure and calculate everything even the distance between your garage and the car will be the same because you live with a routine there is no need for you to be alive you just live with a memory that is why even if you live for years you do not feel fulfilled the other day one journalist asked me swami ji how it feels to be the youngest swami of india i am the youngest swami or the spiritual leader who leads a movement in india there are many follower swamis means the the follower or a disciple of somebody that way there are many swamis who are younger than me but who is the leader who leads a movement i am the youngest swami in india at least as far as we know He, she asked me how do you feel that swami ji i told the youngest the very idea i am young is lost in me because my life is packed with so many incidents so much of life so many things i lost the idea that i am young i already feel i am feeling fulfilled i lived much more than what i can i feel like i am here for a too long time that's the truth i feel so much of fulfillment i feel i am here for too mo- too long the planet earth if you are living if you are alive you will feel so fulfilled you will feel you are here for too long time if you are feeling you have not achieved or if you are feeling the unfulfillment if you are feeling life is not enough be very clear you are living just with memories you are not alive you are not alive that is why you feel you don't feel you are living you don't feel the fulfillment you might have lived years i always tell people do not try to add years to your life add life to your years bring life to your years not years to your life if your body is running based on the fuel of fear and greed you will be running with the past memories recorded system naturally you will not tend to move your body more one more thing whenever you move your body with fear and greed you feel so much of irritated the movement means you start feeling the irritation any movement unconsciously you associated all movements with irritation with irritation one of our devotee used to travel the hills whenever i see him i feel so much of love respect for him even without enlightenment he radiates so much of energy and life amazing he is not enlightened person but the energy which he radiates is amazing because he lived continuously in a with a lot of risk he has to be alive to survive just surviving is not enough he is not he has not lived with a routine i always tell people once in a while try to be alive do something which does not give you money name and fame or which does not give you any fear neither fear nor greed something you will catch the knack of how to move the body how to flow with the body through prana 